Three new images taken by NASA's James Webb Telescope have been released, including a snapshot of a dying star. The pictures make up the rest of the cosmic collection unveiled by the US President Joe Biden yesterday. Humans now have a detailed glimpse of a cloud of gas surrounding a dying star, a cluster of galaxies 290 million light years away, and a young star forming in a Carina nebula. The James Webb Telescope has allowed NASA to see deeper into the cosmos than ever before, thanks to its sheer power and infrared light technology. Joining me live now is astrophysicist and Sky News AM Agenda favourite, Brad Tucker. Brad, great to see you. On a scale of 1 to 10, yep. how excited are you about these particular photos? Like, I mean, is a thousand acceptable on that <laughs> totally. scale? I'm not very good on the whole getting the range right here. Because and this is the important thing. We've been we've been waiting. I mean, the, the telescope was launched itself in Christmas, and there's been six months getting this telescope ready. But this project has taken over two decades, and so it's amazing to see. And and even though we knew it was gonna be bigger and clearer, uh, we were gonna see fainter and further light. You know, to see it with your own eyes is really amazing. That's the power of it is seeing, you know, they mm. say seeing is believing uh, and seeing just what it's brought in. Because especially, as you said, you know, with these images that have been released, um, not only are we seeing them in infrared light. So this is light that Hubble, the Hubble Space Telescope, couldn't see. But because the Hubble Space Telescope has already seen these areas and viewed them, we can kind of directly compare how powerful it is. And it just... Uh, it is really breathtaking. So what's it like, 4K or something, or even better than that? It, I think it's 8K, right? You know, right. It, we've had the 1080p 32-inch television <laughs> at home, and now we've seen right. the 50-inch 8K, and it's like, hmm, right. I don't want to go back. Look, and it's not to say Hubble isn't still important and scientifically, you know, going to be with us and, and doing cutting-edge science. Yeah. And, and, and so many discoveries were made with Hubble in the past 30 years, that's why I think so many people are excited because now this next leap, the equivalent leap with the James Webb, means over the next 20 years of science, we're going to be making so many discoveries of the things that we're aiming to study and then the things that just surprise us along the way. Well, they're beautiful photos at the very least. Uh, they kind of look like Van Gogh's Starry Night in one of them. But anyway, I digress. What do they show us? No, no but despite... they almost look like... The... Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> despite being just amazing, beautiful photographs, what do they actually tell us? Yeah, so there's a few. So, you know, in the uh, the Carina Nebula one, kind of where we see this orangey glow with a little bit of the blue on top, this is, as you said, this is where stars are being formed. Now, everywhere we see kind of a clump of gas forming into these little pillars, we start to see new stars coming together. But what we hadn't seen before is all this little structure that we're starting to see in it. So we're starting to see bits of the process of literally forming new star systems and therefore new planets that had never been seen before. In fact, people are already trying to figure out, what is it? So we're already starting to see a new level of detail because of that resolution. Mm. And then we see kind of that group of five galaxies. All of that red color is really attributed to the infrared power of the James Webb Space Telescope, which again, completely not possible with Hubble. Mm. And so we're starting to see gas being ejected out. So we're seeing processes of the universe that were quite literally hidden to us. Yeah, but then right. because we can see so much further back, we can just see parts of the universe that we never were able to see before. In fact, one of the big goals is to see the very first stars in the universe, because that will tell us the history of stars and therefore the history of solar systems, ultimately in the history of planets and us. Okay, so what do we do all with all this information? Practically, so, I, mean, I mean, how does it affect our yeah, lives? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> now the work starts, and, and, and essentially one of the big goals uh, of the James Webb, and this is one of the data released overnight, was of measuring the atmospheres of other planets. And one of the big goals of this is we find all of these planets around other stars. Is it, are they having oxygen? Do they have water? Could they support life? And do they have life? The James Webb Space Telescope may be the thing that answers are there other planets with life out there? You know, and this is the right. big question humanity is asked for, yeah, I mean, <laughs> is eons. There, is there, Brad? And, exactly. And that telescope may answer it. Okay, well, 
I mean, you're really down on Hubble. Gosh, you really kicked Hubble to the curb. Well, I love morning. Hubble. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to get banned from using Hubble now. Wow. And this is the amazing thing. Now that we have both of them now together, because Hubble on. still has another few years, we'll be using it. Quickly, you've moved on from Hubble. For 30 years, <laughs> really moved on. It's like you've found a younger, better looking version. Anyway. But look, look, you, I can still have two families. I can still have two telescopes we're in <laughs> love right, with. Okay. And look, it's still going to change. It's going to change the way we view the universe. And people are already planning how to use both. In the lifetime of James Webb, we still have at least 10 years. That's the All plan, right. potentially 20. Um, and, you know, when we look back on Hubble, so many discoveries were made that okay. have changed our view of the universe. So many Nobel Prizes were won. So it's exciting to think of what may happen with the James Webb Space Telescope. Okay. What big questions made me completely transform our view of the universe? And then we still have Hubble to help with the science as well. And this was <laughs> actually never envisioned. James Webb was supposed to come on when Hubble had long gone, essentially. But now okay. both are active, so we can do even more. Well, you've redeemed yourself there, Brad. As always, we thank <laughs> you for your time. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Laura. Take care.